Hello there, this is DBT, and these are the rooms. And alright, let's continue playing some more Asphalt 9, this time in the global version in Android, and today we're going to determine how far can it take me. Yes, this series that I'm doing where I'm testing one single car in multiplayer and see, well, how far can it take me in the multiplayer season. Now, right now there's still Ghost running. A bunch of my videos have been recording in this season because, of course, this is one that is very fun. And I'm going to do the same for the Apollo N. Oh, what a beauty of a car. What an impressive car. Really, really fast and considerably easy to get. Now, just as a quick overview of the stats, top speed, as I mentioned, for Class B, it's insanely fast. Even for Class A, this is really fast. So this is absolutely insane. The acceleration, it's okay. It's not great by any means, but it's not bad. Handling suffers and the nitro is not all that great. But overall, it's a fantastic car. Just look at the rank. And by the way, if you want to see how I have it upgraded, basically I have it all at max and I don't believe I have any epic import parts. Yeah, that's correct. This is basically just at max, not gold at all. So let's test it out. Let's find some races to do. So I really like doing races in Ghost Season. Because I've, as I've explained before in other videos also, um, it's really interesting because these unlike... Well, let, let's, let's look at it in the regular way. In classic season, in regular multiplayer season, there's a ton of collisions, there's knockdowns, then there's all of that. Then we have also uh, Ghost Slipstream, where it's Ghost, no collision, but you always have a Slipstream. So you may not necessarily want to be on the first place at all times because then you don't have any slips, a slipstream, slipstream to ride on. So, eh, I, I don't mind playing in those, but over here in Ghost, it's completely different. It's almost like you're playing a TLE, a time limited event or whatever, but with some other players in the field, but they cannot affect you in any way. But technically they can, under very particular circumstances, like if they hit a, hit a traffic car, and the traffic car bounces and hits you, well, then that messes you up. But for the most part, the players, the other players don't really have a say as to what you're doing or how you're going to progress or your, the position that you're going to get. And I think that's really interesting because it's a, it's kind of like, um, yeah, it is multiplayer, but sort of like single player. I don't know that I can explain it as I have it pictured in my mind, but still, it's really fun because then it has more to do with the skill or I suppose the card that you bring, rather than just a regular mess that multiplayer is with all the knockdowns and oh, if I punch you into that wall, maybe you don't wreck, but you're gonna lose a ton of speed. No, all of that stuff. So Ghost gets rid of all of that and that's why I actually enjoy it quite a bit. And by the way, as you can see, I'm playing from the very, very beginning of Gold League. So we're literally gonna see in the field that I have for this car, how far will it take me? Now, I completely forgot to show you the leaderboard on the previous race to see what I was racing against, but oh well, I promise I'll do it in the next races. But, by the way, what I meant to do, I don't know how many times I've explained it because these videos are not coming in order, so I don't know which video is out and which one isn't. But, um, this whole thing of how far will it take me or how far can it take me, this series of videos, is not about like how good the car is. It's more how... how much will the fuel take me from basically the beginning of the, of the current league and see where the seven or eight races, depending on the car, how much fuel I have, how far into the multiplayer season is gonna take me. Because obviously, if I get to play with this car for quite a lot of races, if I do 20 races, ah, this car is definitely gonna take me into... Uh, it, it, it will definitely take me into Platinum League, and maybe if I'm a little lucky, it should maybe even get me to, to Elite. But that is not the objective over here. It's not a... a Hey, I played with this car for an entire week and this is the results. No, it's more like, hey, here's one session of me playing with this particular car and this is how far it was able to take me. So I hope that's that's clear as to the concept of this this series that I'm doing. And like I said, I'm doing, ooh, all right, he just passed me like that. Better nitro management, I'll say that. Is that a, is that a Grand Sport? Is, that, is a Grand Sport going to beat me? A much lower car beat my beautiful Apollo. Uh, honestly, I don't think it's just a beautiful car, but it beat my Apollo end, really? Damn. All right, so what happened there? Yeah, a Hurricane Evo Spider, a Corvette Grand Sport, I did beat an Apex, a Hurricane, but that one is barely upgraded. Uh, 718 came in GT4, this is Class C, Accurate and Sex Class C, and the Lancer, I don't know why he was there, I think he was just memeing or something. Okay, this lobby is full of Class B cars, so this is gonna get interesting. Um, especially because this track is not necessarily super friendly to top speed cars. It does have some straights where I can build some speed, but for the most part, this is in general a very twisty track. So let's see. I don't know. I did see some Grand Sports as usual, some Hurricanes. I mean, it's the normal cars that you're gonna see all the time, right? Especially in this league. 
even up to the Platinum League, you're still gonna find some of those, so I don't think that's a surprise to anybody. By the way, I did find something really, really curious about this car. The fact that this car is also featured in Asphalt 8, right? It exists over there. But in Asphalt 8, it doesn't have this ginormous um, uh, diffuser. I don't know why this particular version of the car has this crazy diffuser, and it's not like that in Asphalt 8. I don't know. I definitely like it much more with this diffuser. It looks absolutely crazy. But all right, so far looking good. 88% into the race, I'm first place, and there comes a straight. I don't have a lot of nitro, but it should be okay. Beautiful, another first place for the Apollo end. All right, so just to double check, we were racing against a Grand Sport, a Hurricane, Grand Sport, F12 TDF, you don't see this very often. Grand Sport, Hurricane, and a Porsche Carrera. All right, so the F12 TDF and the Carrera were the cars that were sort of unexpected. Understood, understood. Ooh, Greenland. This is gonna get a little bit interesting because this is a very strange track. It has some very, uh, well, like this. Uh, is that worth calling it twisty? I don't know, but it definitely has some turns where you're gonna have to drift the living crap out of your car. And if you have a car that doesn't drift very well, then that's gonna be the end of your top speed. But then it also has some very nice long straights in which top speed cars are gonna do very good. So I don't know, it's a, it's a peculiar track. This is one of those sections, look at this. Long straight with some jumps to get some additional speed and I'm back on first place. But then next up comes another section of drifts. Now the Apollo N doesn't drift absolutely great. It doesn't drift absolutely terrible. I think it's a very mid drifter. It loses a bunch of speed, but at least it's not incredibly wide on the drift. So it, it's all right. It kind of does okay. So here we go. Now the other guy's kind of catching up to me, but we got another straight for my top speed with a jump and more straight and beautiful. 388 top speed for a class B. Imagine that. Oh yeah, baby. And I ringed out, but it's okay. All right. So what did we race in that one? Uh, Vanda. This is already class A, 48 GTB, Apollo, another Apollo M, but much less upgraded. The Berlinetta, Grand Sport Hurricane and an Arash as Fly 8 Falcon Edition. All right. From one icy track to another, except that this one does have better colors. I really don't like how Greenland, or is it Iceland, whatever it is. Um, it's an icy map and all of that, but the colors are super, super muted. I really dislike that. But in here, in Himalayas, this map has always been a lot about top speed. I don't think that necessarily every single variant of this track is top, ori top speed oriented, but it definitely, definitely helps for this type of car, so... Just make sure to not hit that car. Thank you. Keep some of my nitro for this turn and then for the jump. I used to do 360s on this jump, but I have messed up that jump so many times thanks to those 360s that nowadays I don't even bother trying, you know? Now, I don't know what other fast car is in this race, but there's something behind me, but never mind. I'm starting to, to pull away. All right, another good section. Long straight for top speed. Look at that. Whatever is behind me, it's also really fast. Look at that. He has caught up to me. What is that? I have no idea, but I'm curious to see. This man, that definitely was able to keep up. Huh, I wonder, was it a Class A car by any chance or something? It's gotta be, right? I, I think I'm getting close to Class A races. Uh, no, it was an, another Apollo N. Well, and surprisingly, the Apollo N's just absolutely killed it. Then again, he was still not as upgraded as mine and he was able to keep up, so well played, mister, well played. And while I should be really happy about doing another Himalayas race, this time there's a bunch of really fast Class A cars. There's a Victor over there, I saw a couple of Onyxes. So now my car suddenly is nowhere near as powerful as it was in the previous races. Yeah, like I thought, I'm already pretty much in the, in the threshold to reach the next league. So obviously you start facing cars from that next league and in this case a bunch of class a cars obviously there's also gonna be a bunch of class b cars because even then even when you're in the next league you can still bring some class b cars and do pretty well but yes let's see what we can do i see a hurricane in front of me i should be able to get past them right about here again simply because of the top speed and even then it's still keeping up really really well it's nowhere as fast, but that that uh, hurricane accelerates so insanely fast that no wonder I can do some 
nonsensical stuff. All right, so here we go. Gonna hug the wall a little bit. A little bit of drift to have the shockwave ready for this jump. Oh my god, that was too low. Is it gonna pass me? Is it gonna pass me? No, 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 he can't pass me. I'm faster. There we go. Jesus. All right, that, that suddenly got sweaty, but there we go. We've made it into the Platinum League. And yeah, beat a Hurricane, Evo Spider, a Peugeot Onyx. Another Hurricane, two more Onyxes. Um, Aston Martin Victor in the Grand Sport. I'm surprised that they didn't do all that great. They're Class A, and they're pretty fast, so I don't know. And now that I'm officially in the Platinum League, I should start getting many more Class A cars. But even then, it's I still see the same Class B cars. A couple of Hurricanes, a Corvette Grand Sport. I thought I saw a, a ZL1? Is that what it is? The, the Class D car? Probably he's just gonna disconnect right away. That's normally what they do. Um, I've, I've come to realize that they do that in order to rank down. Which, honestly, is something that I do myself. I just never do with such low cars. I normally go for the lowest of the current class that I'm playing at. But I guess either way works. So I keep on getting Himalayas. I guess that's why I'm getting some pretty decent results even against some very very strong cars like the hurricane but again this 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 thing of the apollo when it just so damn quick i don't know necessarily what is the oh my god we're fine we're fine i don't necessarily know what is the absolute fastest class b car but i know for a fact that this is probably in the top five i say for a fact and then i say probably not not very confident dbt but okay fine uh, I know that the McLaren F1 LM is also there, and it's also ridiculously fast. The W12, it's also really fast. I think the Revuelto is also fast, but nowhere near as fast as this, though. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% on that, but let's check. Uh, oh, look at that. There was a Pagani Huara BC destroyed. Two Hurricanes, Acrobat Grand Sport, another Apollo N, an Elva, and yeah, there it is, the Z4. I knew it. I knew it. So much for it. Yeah, I'm going to find some more Class A cars once I'm in Platinum. A lot of hurricanes. I mean, I cannot blame them. Again, the hurricane, really good car. I get that, but jeez. No wonder why people got so tired of seeing it. Because it gets super spammed. And normally this is a race where this car, the Apollo N, may not do great. Because with so many agile cars in this track, there will be so many collisions. Whether it's a knockdown or not, um, yeah, it's going to be a problem. But thanks to my top speed, I was able to just... Fly, fly, fly past through them and there's still a very good chance that they will catch up to me because again there's quite a bunch of, of turns and twists around here so that that is an opportunity for them to catch up to me but if driven well this car can definitely take you very very far and so far i'm surviving very good then i always mess up this section so let me say you know what i'm gonna do it on the outside Get the nitro going a little bit. I'm not going super fast, but I do have the shockwave for that. And whoever's behind me really caught up. But no matter, I was still able to get another W. Jesus, I got a bunch of Ws in this one. This kind of tells you that if an average player like myself can get this many Ws, this car is really good. Now look at that. It was five, six Hurricane Evos and a Grand Sport. Jesus Christ. Yeah, a little bit on the spammy side, the Hurricane Evo, but that's for another video if you enjoyed this series you know what to do hit the like button all of that if you want to see any particular car so long as i have it uh why don't you give it and give it to me in the comments and i'll see if i can drive it be it in the global version here in android or maybe on the switch if i have it i'll drive it how about that but all right that's gonna do it for today thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care and stay safe bye bye